Yo, hi everyone, Hashu is here. Today we are diving into a classic Who Moved My Cheese book. This book is all about dealing with change that everyone faces at some point of their lives, whether it is a new job, a shift in your personal life, or even just adapting in a new circumstances. Change is happening. While change is a constant, how we respond to it, it can make a huge difference. Some people embrace it, yet some people resist. So, in this book, it uses simple and powerful story to explore these different types of reactions for people. And it gives us a valuable lesson on how to adapt and thrive in changing world. So if you ever found yourself stuck with things don't go as planned, this video is just for you. Who would my cheese tell us a story of four characters who live in a maze and spend their days searching for cheese, which represent the things we want in life, like a good job, a loving relationship, money or health. The characters are two mice named Sniff and Scurry and two little people named him and How, who are similar to humans but much smaller. So every day these four characters put on their running shoes and go into the maze to search for cheese. Eventually they find a huge stash of cheese at a place called Cheese Station C. They all settle in and start enjoying the cheese thinking it will always be there but one day they arrive at the cheese station c and they found out that the cheese is gone this is where the story actually begins as we see how each of the characters reacts to the unexpected change sniff and scurry the mice aren't too surprised they had noticed that the cheese supply was getting smaller every day so they were mentally prepared for it to run out without overthinking they quickly put on their running shoes and head back into the maze to find a new cheese. They embody the traits of being proactive and adaptable. Qualities that help them find new cheese relatively quickly at cheese station head. On the other hand, him and how the little people are shocked. They had grown very comfortable at cheese station C. Him wasn't angry and he's in denial. He feels indebted to the cheese and believes that someone has moved it on purpose to make their lives difficult. He refuses to leave cheese station C, hoping that the cheese would return. How at first shares him's mindset. He's afraid of going back into the maze because he fears the unknown. But as time passes, How starts to realize that waiting for the cheese to return is impossible. He begins to laugh at himself for being afraid of a change and decides to go back into the maze in a search for a new cheese. He faces his fears and learns important lessons along the way. As How explores the maze, he discovers pieces of a new cheese and begins to understand that by embracing change, he can find even better opportunities. He writes messages on the walls of the maze, like if you don't change, you can become extinct. And what would you do if you weren't afraid? To help himself remember these lessons and guide him if he ever decided to leave Cheese Station C. Eventually, how finds Cheese Station N, where Sniff and Scurry have been enjoying a new, even a larger stash of cheese. How reflects on the journey and realizes that change isn't something to fear but something to embrace. Him never overcomes his fear and remains at cheese station C, stuck in his old days. What is fascinating about this story is how it uses these simple characters to represent different attitudes towards change. Cliff and Scurry's quick adaptions highlights the importance of staying alert and flexible. They don't overcomplicate things. When the situation changes, they can change too. Him's character, on the other hand, represents the part of us that resists change. He is fearful, bitter and stuck in the past. How's journey shows the power of overcoming the, that fear by volunteering into the unknown. He not only finds a new cheese, but also discovers that the process of adapting can lead to personal growth. One of the most powerful messages in that book is that change is inevitable and our happiness depends on how we respond to it. The idea of moving with cheese encourages us to let go old bad habits and embrace new opportunities, even if it seems scary at the beginning. So basically, that is a summary of the book and the summary of that beautiful story. So would I recommend Who Moved My Cheese? Absolutely. It's a short read, it's like 100 pages, lessons that it offers it can stick with you for your lifetime. Whether you are dealing with a big change right now or just want to be better prepared for the future, because change is happening. This book is definitely worth your time. I think there's four types of personalities on dealing with change. First one is believing that change will never happen and he afraid if it happens. Second one is he knows that change will come but he's not gonna do any reaction to it. Third one is waiting for the change to happen so he can change himself too. 
So he's waiting for the change. Fourth one, he goes into the change. He's proactive into going to the change as sticking out of his comfort zone. Let me know in the comments which character are you from these four. I would love to know, to be honest. Me personally, I always try to seek changes if I can do that. So for example, I always like to step out of my comfort zone, try to learn new things and being proactive as much as I can. I don't like the routine too much, but yet sometimes you need it. You need to relax a little bit, just focus on what you do now and then see the change. Okay, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was a quick and spontaneous one. I just had the idea of my mind uh, that I want to review a book one day. So I couldn't find a better book than Who Moved My Cheese because it really changed a lot of things in my life and how I look at some stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, share, and also add the comments that you liked it. Thank you all for watching. I will catch you back later. Bye-bye.